Alright, hello guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do everything in Gorilla Tech. Like literally almost everything in Gorilla Tech that you could do in forest. Forest only. So yeah, let's just move on to the video. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do is ground. So if you're new and you don't know how to do ground and watch this tutorial right here, then you could skip to the timestamp. I'll put it up on screen when I get to the more advanced ground. So what you do is you put your arm out and then you're like kind of being parallel to the ground. You're trying not to jump like up like that or like hitting up like this. Like just hitting up like that. Don't do that. Just try to keep like ass down to the floor as you can. So this is basically like boom. So like you're bringing forward, push back. Bringing forward, push back. Bringing forward, push back. But don't push forward like up like that, but just push forward. Like you're trying to stay low to the ground as you can. So then it will be like, it will look like this. All right, so now we're gonna get into the more advanced stuff of ground. So what you do is you put your arm out. This is just like my run. You could do any other run, but this is just what I do. Put my right arm like this, and then I pull. And it's gonna be like that. So you're just doing this. And you see how my hand is like going back like that? Oh yeah, stretch your right arm kinda as far as you can because that'll get you more faster and now bring you more farther. And then what you do with your left hand is you're like doing this. So you're like doing this motion really fast. And you see what I'm doing? I'm doing like this. So that's basically what it is. And then once you get used to it, it'll look like this. So next up is walls. So I'm gonna show what like, how to actually like just wall run and wall climb. So if you want the more advanced stuff like vertical and like just a bunch of other stuff that makes you go up the wall faster, then it's skip to the timestamp that I'm showing up on screen right now. So what you want to do for wall climbing is you want to get momentum. Momentum is good. Like jumping is good to the wall. Because if you get momentum, it's easier for you to wall climb. So you're going to jump to the wall, put your arm like this, and then push back like that. So you see how my arm is like kind of pushing this way. Like it's not pushing outwards, but it's pushing like inwards. You see, like inwards, like pulling towards the wall. So then you do that and then you do the same thing. And then you'll eventually be able to do this. And yeah, I'm gonna just show you guys how to do the goofy wall climb. So let's just go over there. All right, so now we're here. So if you want to wall climb like a goofy person, go like this. I'll show you how to do that. It's very exhausting, I would say. So what you do is you like look up, you hit, pull, and you're just stretching your arms out as far as you can while you're doing circles. Like boom, boom, boom 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 and you're just doing big circles against the wall but also wall climbing at the same time don't do it too fast but just go like simple and nice with it all right so wall running i don't know how much people know how to wall run but if you're watching this video and don't know how to wall run then i'll show you how to do it right now the way you do it's just like wall climbing like when you pull this way and you push it's just like that so what you do is when you like stay up and you want to go forward you just push to the direction you want to go and push you don't want to hit outward you don't want to go like this because like push that way you don't want to push towards the wall you want to push kind of up against the wall like you want to push forward to the wall. If you're here, this is the easiest spot. You just have to pull 
It's like pull in a row. Pull. 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 All right, so now we're moving on to the advanced walls, like vertical in, and I'll show you guys how to vert like this. You hold it like grip like this against the wall like that. And then you're doing circle motion with your arm. And then you're flicking down with your wrist at the same time, it's like right now. Oh yeah, by the way, for these advanced walls, 72 or 60 hertz is the best hertz. And yeah, you need side quests. All right, so the final advanced wall thing I'm gonna show you guys is the Lucio running. And it looks like this. Circle motion with your arm and with your wrist. You're basically doing that. With your left hand, you're like, while you're Lucioing, you're pulling up. Like you're pushing yourself up and you flick your wrist down while you're doing it. So it's like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Repeat that pattern. And once you get used to that pattern, you can start loosening very good like this. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys for left hand too. Left hand, it's the exact same thing. You just, with your left hand, you're doing the vert motion like it's just wall running basically and then with the right hand you're flicking down but flicking forward at the same time like pushing yourself forward and you pull yourself in like that so then you go one two one two one two one two so once you practice it you can loose y'all run like this All right, so yeah, now we're done with walls. Now let's move on to branching. And the best hertz for this is either 90 or 72 hertz. So branching, I'm gonna just show you how to jump branch to branch. So what you do is you could like, you have to aim yourself to the branch and have enough power for it. And a good place to practice it is on double walls right up here. So you could just practice hitting back and like jumping back and forth on top. And once you get used to it, you can start jumping branch to branch like this. So that's just the basics of branching. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to under branch. So under branching, you know how to like pull yourself forward. You gotta pull, push off the tree, and then you're gonna hit around like right here. Like around this corner, this edge. So then it's like, like this. So yeah, sorry if I'm a little laggy. So if it's a little laggy, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you're just doing that and you're pushing off. And you see what I'm doing? I'm like pushing and aiming where I want to go. Once you get used to that, you could start doing under branches just like this. All right, so now the second thing I'm gonna show you guys is scaling. Scaling, I don't know if it counts as branching, but I'm gonna show, show you guys it anyway. So how you scale is you gotta hit vertically up. So you gotta just hit down like that and aim to the lower branch, like this branch, or you could aim to the higher branch, or you could start right here too. You just do that, push off, and then go back, push off, you're pushing back, but you're pushing up at the same time. So it's like this. So you're just doing that basically, but pushing a little back too. So then it's like this, boom, boom. And yeah, that's how you scale. And then once you get used to it, you could scale like this. So now we're gonna move on to double walls so if you're bad like if you're new at the game then you could you have to watch this but if you're like good at, at stuff and you already know most of this stuff i'll show you the more advanced stuff on double walls so yeah the first thing i'm gonna show you guys is wall jumping like double wall jumping just jumping back and forth like this 
And yeah, that's really simple. But what you do is you're gonna jump towards the wall, right? And you push like up, but to the other way at the same time. So you're pushing back and you're pushing like pretty hard. Don't push like so hard though. Just go up, push back, push back, push back, push back, push back. And then you're just doing that. And then once you get used to it, you could get really fast like this. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to pinch climb. Pinch climb is pretty simple. Hug the double wall, hug this, like this. And then you release, but push up at the same time. You're going like, you're just doing circle motion like that. And you see how my arms are doing circles and then they're coming back to hug it. So once you get used to it, you could start going like this. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to elevator climb. So if you don't know how to elevator climb, this is good for you. So what you do, you go towards the wall and then make sure your arms actually long enough to even like go through it. So just put your arm through it and your arm is not a hitbox. Like it cannot touch anything. It just goes through it like that. All right, so what you do, go in and then what you're doing with your arm while you're like, you're doing circle motion like this. It's like pinch climbing, but with one hand. You're just going like, boom, boom. And you're just doing that. And yeah, so once you get used to that circle motion, you could start like elevator like this, like what I'm doing. No, 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 no. We get to the more advanced stuff, the more good pro stuff. We were moving on to advanced double walls. Now I'm gonna show you guys just one th advanced thing on double walls. There's a lot more advanced things for double walls. And the one thing I'm gonna show you guys is double elevatoring, where you put your arm in and it looks like this. So it just looks like that. So all you do is to make sure your arms are long enough, put my arms in a wall and my hands are like this. And then I'm doing circle motion, big circle motion. And I'm pulling myself like up and towards the wall at the same time. So you're just doing big circles like this. And then you could go pattern like one, two, one, two. And once you get used to that, it'll look like this. Here's the thing. So all of these states that I'm showing you is you have to practice them. If you don't know how to do them, you have to practice them. And you're not gonna get it first try, but if you do, that's good. That's good. And if you don't, you have to keep on practicing it over and over and over. Practice, by the way, does not make perfect. Practice is just progress. Remember that. All right, so I know I didn't cover everything in this video, but I'll put the links in the description for the other stuff I didn't show in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.